Chapter 15 Pera Aspera Ada Astora Oyster Bay, September 26th, 1951 I couldn't sleep. Things were bad. And they were only gonna get worse. The truth was gonna come out sooner or later. And then we were gonna have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. Hola amigos, Ghost here, and today we continue with our Mafia 2 Let's Play. And I believe today is the final chapter of the main story. Uh, we've done, been through so much, Vito has been through so much, from going to war, to prison, from s just starting almost a war, and now I think this is the end. And I probably will do the um, DLCs, but uh, that will be down the road. But now, let's answer the phone. Yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. Yeah. For once, I don't. <laughs> Carlo wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? Nope. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito. That's suspicious. Let's get our classic clothes on. And let's head over there. There's a cutscene already, again. Mr. Scaletta, can you get in, please? Hey, old man, what are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. Oh, shit. And you are? This is our friend, Mr. Chu. All right, so what the hell's going on here? What is this? This. Is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I've probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead. Half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead. And now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown, that was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. That's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. I called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. It was all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> When? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. Our last chance. K. 
kill Carlo Falcon. And he's all the way over there. Uh, we're gonna need a car. Alright. I got a car. And now we gotta go kill Carlo Carlone Falcone. Sounds like that Batman villain. I think. <laughs> but I can't believe it folks. This is this is I think this is the last chapter, the way it's already paced. I think this is the last chapter, and I'm just interested in how this ends. I wonder if there's multiple endings. I wonder uh, what happens to Joe and Vito. Because I know Vito and Joe both survived because I played Mafia 3. But I never, I don't know what their fate was at the end of this game. No, I don't, I didn't know much about this, the story about this game until... I played it for this uh, for my channel. It's crazy. I'm complete. I think I, I've already completed Ghost of Tsushima, Indivisible, I finished that Mortal Kombat DLC, and now this. And all getting ready for the next major Let's Play of uh, the first Mafia. The one that started it all. And I can't wait to play that. But right now, I'm fo trying to focus on this and. I guess just set, just want to give like a quick little uh, review before I uh, get to the main objective, and that is I like I really enjoy this game. It's a very fun game. I like its story. I like its uh, gun mechanics. Its driving is pretty good. The fighting, like the fist fighting system, could use a little bit more work. So I swear, half the time I would die from like three punches while it takes like seven to knock out them. But for the most part, I like the, basically everything this uh, game has to offer. I know there's still like some side content like collectibles and a few other random trophies to like unlock. Uh, but those are for another date. Uh, at the moment, I say Mafia 2 is probably my favorite of the series so far. And that is before I play uh, the rest of the DLC and uh, before Mafia, the, first, the remake, remake slash remaster comes out. Because that one could be given a whole new story and everything and become way just as good as uh, this one. But yeah, it's just uh, pretty good so far. And now it looks like we've made it. To the planetarium, I think. And all we gotta do is, uh, I don't know what. Just I think I'm just gonna follow the uh, dot to get in. Hey, fellas. Hey, Vito. The boss wants to see you. Good. I want to see him too. One, uh, one thing though, Vito. I gotta take your gun. Yeah, all right. Here you go. Damn. That's some smooth executions right there. Hopefully we didn't alert everybody in the building. We've alerted everybody in the building. Looks like he's about to try to flank me. Is he? I can't tell. <coughs> Ow! Son of a bitch. Ah. Okay, got him. Get over here. Please pick up the ammo. Okay, got it. Alright, let's move up. <coughs> Okay. Let's go 
pick up his head. Right there. Alright, I'm gonna chill for a second because it looks like more guys are about to show up. Okay, I'm good. Let's move. Go on, pop your head out. It's okay. Hey. There you go. Alright, go on the back up. Try to grab more ammo. There we go. Shotgun. Come on, pop your head out. I know you want to. There you go, there's one. And there's the second one. Come on, pop your head out, come on, I know you want to. Okay, let me gather cover then. Stupid. Oh god, retreat, retreat. What the hell did he throw, a grenade? Whatever he threw, ow. Okay, grenade? Really? I didn't even- could, Couldn't there have been like a grenade detect- like a- uh, Something to warn me? Ow. Please tell me it doesn't ha I don't restart- I have to restart the entire shot. Fuck. Come on. There has- Okay, that's one thing I would say I don't like about this game. There's no checkpoint system, so you're kind of fucked. If you got- Like, there's- There is checkpoints in some games, but they're like- so far in between, it's like, what the hell? You're, you're gonna give me a shot. Alright, top 10 ammo, go! Oof. Oh, he's gonna come up. <laughs> Dumbasses. Never come down. Never leave the high ground. You should never leave the high ground. Okay, next one. Got him. There, right, there we go. Oh. Oof. Not trying to die. And got it. Let's go. I feel like another one to pop out. No one? Okay, let's go. Oh, we're in. Rush me, why <clears throat> Oh god, oh god. Retreat, retreat. I retreat. Ow. Alright, healed up.
there we go. Better angle. Reload. Your head out. Thank you. Come on, shoot them. Oh, I have a regular Thompson. I didn't realize. Forgot there. They made them two separate versions. Oh, dang you. Have you have a shit ton of bullet. Alright. I think it would go left. Nope, we just kicked through the door. Yep. Wow, look who it is. This is who they send? This is an insult. What'd they tell you, Vito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? You really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? I could ask you the same question. Loyalty's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. Didn't your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> you're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize that? Joe, you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? Or those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. You vouch for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now, you dumb fuck, you're gonna pay for it. Now, Joe. Hey, if you're gonna pull that trigger, do it already. What are you waiting for? Vito, let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked about, tree. Joe. You're gonna throw One. all that away? Do it! Two. Ah! Oh yeah, my boy Joe. <laughs> he didn't betray us. Ow, ow, ow. Somehow that worked. God damn it, somebody kill these two psychos! Okay, there's more of them coming. From where? Okay, there's one. And there's three. You dumb really bastard, you, you don't stand a chance. You can't kill them all. You die. Ow, ow. And what, okay, thank you, Joe. Now where is this one coming from? I can't see him. Wait. Is that hit? I can't see him. Are you it? There's only two of them. Okay. <laughs> oh, I kind of miss this. Reminds me of my prohibition days. Oh no! Fuck! Dang it! Oh, come on. That's embarrassing.
Okay. Thank you. Give me the big damn it, somebody kill these two psychos! You don't stand a chance. Okay. You can't kill them all. Hide. Hide for a second. Ow. You really are insane, aren't you? I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. There's only two of them! <laughs> oh, I kinda miss this. Reminds me of my prohibition day. Okay, okay, uh, uh... Let's go pop out one side or the other. the last of them you know something Carlo for the last 10 years all I done was kill I killed for my country I killed for my family I killed anybody that got in my way but this one this one's for me fuck you fucking prick I sure as hell hope you know what you're doing here. Don't worry, I took care of it. You'll see. So, uh, what was he talking about back there? Nothing. He made me an offer, that's all. Yeah, I figured out that much. What kind of offer? He wanted me to whack it. Said he'd make me a capo. Give me my own crew. You know, pretty much everything I ever wanted. Yeah? So why the hell didn't you do it? Remember that five bucks you owe me? I wonder what's gonna happen now. What the hell is this? It's all right, Joe. Is it done? It's done. All right then. Looks like a celebration is in order. Come on, let's head to the cat house. Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. All right, we'll see you over there. So what's the big secret? Hey, oh, hey, no. what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. Originally, I was going to have the full credits of this game while I talk about um, basically the review, my review of this game, in my opinion, how, uh, what, uh, what do I like, what I dislike, and all that. But due to a copyright claim on a mu on a single piece of uh, the credits, where there's a, a certain song that was made in the 70s, I can no longer do that so I have to record this right now so that's why I'm this is why you don't see the credits that you would usually see in most endings because a good portion uh, the first portion of my review was during those first four minutes which were copyright claimed and I couldn't get rid of just the music and 
so yeah, I, I'm doing this, so sorry about that. Didn't think it would be copyright claimed a second time this time around this video as uh, there was m many times throughout the game I believe that there was co copyrightable music throughout it. The only other time that I had this issue was one of the two montages and the first one had copyrighted music but it wasn't copyright claimed. The second time around it was and I had to mute my audio and when this happened again it's just like I can't mute my stuff that I'm literally reviewing the game in this part of the video so I'm doing this over again uh, I'm just gonna be on this home screen I might try to like go into the story just like go into the world maybe but I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to keep this short as I don't want to have this video too long originally it was 40 minutes straight that was because of the credits uh, with 24 minutes 24 minutes and like a half being of actual gameplay in the story so I'm going to try to keep this short, but I just wanted to briefly say that and also that uh, this was a one hell of a game to, that these uh, the people that made this. that <laughs> I'm just wanting to credit all the people that made this that are in the credits that I sadly cannot lo no longer show. Like making the original version of this game and then the definitive edition. Even if the graphics aren't super updated compared to the original, it's still a great ass game. So yeah, now on to my review. Uh, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I may have my gripes with certain little things in here, but it is a very good game. It, it, it has a very a very uh, compelling and nice story uh, compared to Mafia 3 this story is much more um, wine much more um, focused and narratively sound and more realistic and believable like Mafia 3 is a it's a decent game and I like its story and all but Mafia 2 even if it's a pr even uh, if it's not as open worlded or has some ha such a long story as it's only cha 15 chapters, which I think around all my videos were like around five six hours combined. If you combined all my videos, but that not including well, if you cut out the deaths and all that. But anyway, I think Mafia 2 compared to Mafia 3 is a superior game in terms of the story and characters and just the location of the game like no don't get me wrong mafia 3 is pretty good it's it has a decent story i liked its characters especially donovan uh the setting is also very interesting because i'm pretty sure it was set on uh, new orleans and southern louisiana like uh cities uh but i like mafia 2 because it just reminds me of like goodfellas or um actual mafia based movies and such and now I know it's not fully realistic with certain bits and pieces of the game how we literally probably have like a body count of like 500 at, by the end of the game and stuff but it's still a great ass game it's basically a 10 out of 10 in my book and I don't give 10 out of 10s that often then again I've only reviewed uh what three games of three slash four games of let's play since my channel began uh, but it's a very good game I highly recommend it if any of you have yet to ever play Mafia 2 it's a great game it doesn't have I don't think it you don't have to play Mafia 1 or Mafia 3 to understand this game at all and actually this probably you, this could be just a straight standalone to be honest you could just play this game and not play the others and be enjoyed it but I highly recommend this game and I also highly recommend trying to play Mafia Definitive Edition when that comes out I think in two three days from now to this recording this will probably be uploaded tomorrow or the day after like probably probably the day before Mafia 1 comes out but it's, it's a great ass game and I'm just gonna talk I'm just gonna ramble I guess just talk about the things I liked and disliked the things I'll, I'll start with the things I dislike which are very few and far between um basically the main thing I disliked was um the checkpoint system in at least certain parts of the game like there were certain parts in the combat where I would be 
I would progress pretty far and then I would accidentally die or do something stupid and it would set me back to a huge portion of that combat section and it was hard and sometimes I had to like cut out a whole like five six minutes of my video because of that but I understand that it is an error at during its time this is a this game came out originally what in the mid 2000s uh, I'm not sure I don't remember and this one just this version came out in 2020 they didn't update its gameplay it just they updated the graphics made fixed bugs and crap and such but yeah the checkpoint system was a little iffy um, the AI in terms of sometimes when it drives was kind of bullcrap there were so many times where the AI caused car accidents towards me and messed up my uh, playthrough a little bit where I'm just like what the fuck but it, I, I get it I, I, it could also be that I was freaking driving over 100 miles per hour half the time uh, the cops were pretty annoying, then again, cops are pretty annoying anyway in any game. Hell, sometimes in real life too, but still. Uh, I want to say that's about it of the negatives. I don't see, I don't really have any main negatives. Uh, oh wait, um, the fist fighting combat. I felt like it could have been, could have gotten like a tweak, at least in the definitive edition. They could have made it so that it's, I want to say easier, but makes it so like even because sometimes you would have to literally defend yourself for like at least a solid minute before you can actually get a good swing on the person and I guess that's kind of realistic if you think about it but usually most fights only last a minute or two especially if they're a street fight like there ain't no MMA style long ass fights in this kind of in this in this kind of time period any type of shit uh, but that's basically all my negatives now on to the shit ton of positives. Like I've said already earlier, the story is fantastic. Really reminds me of Goodfellas and all the other mafia type movies. Uh, the characters are amazing. Vito's a very is a pretty good protagonist. Joe is funny as hell. R.I.P. Henry, even if he potentially was actually a snitch or not. Um, you all oh, the side boss main character uh, uh, not main characters side character bosses for the mafia group Leo was a cool grandfather figure um, Eddie uh, that sleaze bag I forgot wait is it yeah Eddie's a sleaze bag uh, Frank and all the others they're all interesting they're all interesting and unique and it really shows you like even if this game is not true to like real life mafia stuff at least shows you like how this world's mafia kind of organizes and stuff. Um, the main combat system, it's it's enjoyable. At first, it was a little clunky because I didn't have the sensitivity right, and I had to get used to it because I wasn't. I've been so used to like modern day shooting games of third person and all that, being much faster and more cover based, even well, much more fluid and shit. But it was pretty good, especially for its time and. and and it's a nostalgic kind of game today in terms of its combat system and it was very enjoyable especially once I started getting certain types of weapons the shotgun is OP as hell the Thompson with the 50 round mag is amazing and the grease gun is a somehow a sniper rifle when it comes to accuracy don't know how uh, it, it, the combat's pretty good uh, there's diversity towards it um, certain type like ambushes where or us going straight to attack them, or surprise attacks, um, the car ride, drive-bys and shit, all very interesting and cool. Um, the driving, pretty smooth and solid. It took me a while to get a handle of it, especially because certain cars drifted a shit ton. But it was really fun and enjoyable to play, drive around in the city. It was a very unique city. Um, the map. It, it's a decent sized map. I liked it. Very unique, flavorful. Reminds me of New York and somewhat Chicago, even though I think Mafia 1 City is based off Chicago. And I'm not sure about that, but either way, it reminds me of both of, of New York and Chicago. Uh, this, I'm trying to think of anything else like major to talk about. Um, 
the fighting, like the fist fighting system, besides the gripes I have with it, it was pretty fun to play sometimes, especially when I was getting the hang of it at points and be like, bitch, I'd be like, bitch, 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 oh yeah, you done for, cut, huh? and then all of a sudden I get my ass beat and it's hilarious. Um, the collectibles, I didn't collect too many of them, but I'm pretty sure they're all nice, they're all era appropriate. There's Playboy stuff, there's um, posters that you can unlock. Basic, basic uh, collectibles you can get around this time area, time period of games. Very interesting. Um, I think that's about it. I touched about, touched on shortly about everything I enjoyed. I'm not, I'm not a super review channel. I'm not. I just review my personal takes on the games after I've completed them. But uh, so. Maybe eventually when I have a better ability to edit and all kinds of stuff, I'll do reviews of games I played previously and stuff and actually give a true uh, freaking um, review of games. But so far, Mafia, uh, Mafia 2, 10 out of 10. Very good game and I re highly recommend it as I said. Um, Hopefully I don't get any more of these copyright claims for other games, especially Mafia 1, which I plan to play on the day of release and try to get as much of it recorded and played as soon as possible as college does take up a lot of my time. But yeah, uh, I think that's wraps about it. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this, this episode and this entire series as a whole. And if you just stopped by in this episode, go back to the first uh, episode and watch how I progressed from uh, both co uh, from how I how how I recorded back then to how I do it now and all that but yeah hopefully you all enjoyed I certainly did until next time this is ghost signing out it's time to go to mafia one baby <laughs>